Today, I'm going to walk you through the Sophos Support Portal. Our portal is full of useful resources, and the information is constantly evolving and growing. It's our goal to make it easy for you to find what you need and resolve your issues quickly. By default, you'll see all content as well as recommended and featured resources available right away. Use the options on the left to filter by resource type, product, version, or language. Along the top, you can also quickly filter by resource type, such as documentation, knowledge base articles, or videos, all of which are created by subject matter experts. In addition, you can use the search bar at the top to type in relevant keywords. All relevant results will appear, and once again, you have the ability to filter as needed. Here you'll see a quick link section. This provides you links to frequently used sites such as Support Downloads, Sophos Labs, and the Sophos Community. Now, if you need to create a new support case, you can use these buttons on the right to create a technical support case or a customer or partner care case. Next, select the case severity. You can view the criteria for each severity level by hovering over the eye. Then choose your preferred language of correspondence by selecting the preferred team. If it's outside of business hours, you'll need to select Global Support Team, which offers English support. Fill in the subject and description. You'll notice as soon as you type in either of these fields, knowledge base articles associated with the issue are displayed on the right. Often, these may contain the solution to your problem, so be aware that these are here to help. You'll need to fill in the asset license number or product category. The last four fields are optional. Provide as much information as you can and click Submit. The case number will be displayed, which you can click on to view the case immediately. To view a list of all cases, go to the Cases tab. Click on the case number to view a case. Here, you can add updates if needed on the right-hand side. Click in the Write a New Comment box, enter your notes, and click Comment to post an update. Any replies to your updates show just below the comment box. You'll also receive an email anytime your post has been replied to. If you need to upload relevant documents to the case, click Upload Files and attach the files. Once attached, click on Submit. Going back to our case, if you'd like to be notified of all updates, click Follow. To see all the cases you're following, go to the Followed Cases tab. Next, to view a list of all your accounts, click the Accounts tab. Click the account name to view additional information for that account. Click on the Related tab to view your cases and contacts. If you're a customer with a Sophos partner and would like them to manage support cases on your behalf, you'll need to grant them access by clicking on Grant Data Access. In the support portal, you can also chat with a live agent. Return to the home page and select the chat button in the bottom right. Indicate the subject and select the team which you need to connect with. Then click start chatting. The chat window will then be displayed. As soon as an agent is available, they'll connect with you over chat. If a case needs to be created based on your chat, they can create a case directly from there, including all the chat history. And that covers the main features of the Sophos Support Portal. If you have any questions, refer to the relevant knowledge base articles or contact our technical support team directly. Thanks for watching.